Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the corporation, Consul General, Bishop, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for that welcome. The, um, this is a fascinating event. Uh, the War of 1812 seems far off, despite the vividness that some of us had the luck of today of travelling with the spirit and going round the gathering point for the Royal Navy 200 years ago to the week before the, before the 1814 expedition to Chesapeake Bay. The British seemed to think they won that war. <laughs> so did the Americans. The Canadians certainly thought they won that war and they may have had more claim. Its purpose and its outcome were not very clear, as in many wars. Everyone could claim various successes Everyone certainly suffered fiasco of various kinds. The United States ended up with an excellent national anthem, which is a good thing. Though some of us feel that at the Olympics we hear it more often than is ideal. <laughs> I, I make... <laughs> Thank you, Council General. Uh, I would like to make three quick points. The, the war had a big impact on the development of Bermuda. It had already begun to become a base of increasing importance for the Royal Navy uh, between the bases of Halifax and the West Indies. But operations like the one we're commemorating today underlined the value of the base here, and Bermuda became the main British naval base in the Western Hemisphere from 1819 till the 1950s, with a big effect on Bermuda's history and pretty obviously its built heritage. I should declare an interest. Uh, my three greats grandfather was commander in chief in Halifax in 1819 and he was absolutely furious at the order that he got then to cooperate with the shifting of the main base in the Northwest Atlantic from Halifax to Bermuda. Uh, he wrote several things in his journal which were rude about Bermuda as a potential naval base and it would be quite inappropriate for me to mention these <laughs> in public. Uh, the, war, the second point is that the war is another illustration of the extraordinary intertwining of Bermuda's history with the history of the United States. From the early links of this town of St. George's and Jamestown in the very first years of English-speaking settlement, through to the US military connections of the 20th century and the close and mutually beneficial business links that we've got today. And the third point, and maybe above all, the ending of the so-called War of 1812 in February 1815 marks the beginning of, two <coughs> of 200 years not just of peace between Britain and Bermuda on the one hand and the United States on the other, but of extraordinarily constructive friendship, partnership and alliance, which remains today as close as it's ever been. I congratulate everybody who has put today together. Uh, thank you to the Fife Band. Thank you and welcome to our friends and visitors from New Bedford. Thank you to everyone who has made this event possible. I genuinely believe that this is an important occasion, the commemoration of 200 years of friendship with our nearest neighbour is something special, moving and important. Thank you very much indeed.